In this video, I'm going to show you how to rip an audio CD using Exact Audio Copy. Exact Audio Copy, or EAC, is a kind of free software known as an audio grabber. Audio grabbers are used to copy the tracks on an audio CD into digital audio files to be placed on a Windows computer. You might be asking yourself, why use EAC as opposed to a simpler audio grabber, such as iTunes? Exact Audio Copy has distinct advantages over many other types of audio grabbing software. The biggest advantage of EAC is that the program is able to read and copy media from a damaged and scratched audio CD, ensuring a complete and accurate copy of the media. Other programs would likely fail at this task if the original CD was damaged in any way. EAC will allow us to copy the audio tracks into a variety of formats, but we will be copying them into the most popular compressed audio format, known as an MP3. This kind of audio format is ideal for using the files on an iPod or most other MP3 players. You're going to need a few things to get up and running. You'll need a PC running Windows XP or higher that has an optical disk drive, an active internet connection, and an audio CD. Following the instructions in section 3, I hope you are able to install the exact audio copy software. Now that you have installed the exact audio copy software, we are ready to begin. When Exact Audio Copy opens for the first time, the EAC Setup Wizard will appear. Just click Cancel to close this window. First, we need to configure the metadata options. This allows EAC to retrieve information about any CD that you would like to rip to your computer, such as the track titles, album name, and the performing artist. In the upper left-hand corner of the EAC window, click on EAC, then select Metadata Options. Go to the Metadata Provider tab, and select FreeDB Metadata Plugin from the drop-down menu. Go to the FreeDB tab. Enter your email address in the first text box. Click Get Active FreeDB Server List to connect to a metadata server. Click OK at the bottom of this dialog box. Next, we will configure the EAC options. While still in the EAC window, go to EAC, then select EAC Options. Go to the Tools tab and ensure that the checkbox Activate Beginner Mode, Disable All Advanced Features is not checked. You can find this at the very bottom of the window. Now go to the Extraction tab and check Fill Up Missing Offset Samples with Silence as well as Synchronize Between Tracks. In the same tab, do not check Delete Leading and Trailing Silent Blocks. Next, go to the Tools tab and check automatically write status report after extraction. In the same tab, do not check, do not open external compressor window, or activate beginner mode, disable all advanced features. Finally, go to the normalize tab and make sure that normalize is not checked. Now we need to configure the compression options. For this part of the setup, you'll need to download an mp3 encoder. This tells the computer how to create mp3 audio files. Open your web browser and go to the URL found as the first bullet in step 6.1. Click the first link in the list to download the lame mp3 encoder. Go to the location where you saved the downloaded file. Right click on the file and select extract all in the context menu. Click browse and browse to the location that you would like to extract the files to. I recommend C colon slash program files slash lame. Now just click extract to extract the files and put them in the specified location on your computer. Now that we have the encoder, in the EAC window, go to EAC, then select compression options. Click on external compression tab. Check use external program for compression. In the parameter passing scheme drop down menu, select user defined encoder. In the use file extension text box type dot mp3. Click browse below program including path used for compression and browse to the location of the encoder you just downloaded. It will be called lame.exe. Copy the line found at the bottom of step 6.2 into the additional command line options text box. Don't worry we're almost ready to rip our audio CD. We just need to configure the options for your disk drive. Go ahead and insert the CD into your disk drive. 
Then in the EAC window, select EAC, then select Drive Options. When the Information dialog box appears, just click OK to close it. Go to the Extraction Method tab and click Detect Read Features. This may take a minute or two, so please just be patient. When it is finished, click Apply to set the options detected. Click No on the Database Submission dialog box that shows up. Now go to the Drive tab and click Auto Detect Read Command Now. Finally, go to the Gap Detection tab and select Detection Method A for Gap Index Retrieval Method. Also select Secure for Detection Accuracy. We're finally ready to rip the audio CD. Go to the Action option and select Detect Gaps to register the length of any gaps between tracks. At the top of the EAC window, you will see an icon of a blue circle with a 3 inside it. Click the arrow to the right of this icon and select FreeDB Metadata Plugin from the drop down menu. Click the FreeDB icon that replaced the previous one to get the CD's information. Click Yes on the Warning dialog box to bring up the CD selection options. EAC may have identified multiple CDs as possible matches. So select the one that looks to be the correct one and click OK. Click Yes in the new dialog box to search for a cover image. Click Medium Images in the Cover Art Downloader to bring up cover images. Click to select a cover image, then click Transfer Selected Cover to EAC. Click No to not search for the lyrics. Select all of the tracks, then go to Action, select Test and Copy Selected Tracks, then select Compressed. Choose the location where you want to save the audio files to start the ripping process. The ripping process will vary in length depending on your computer and or the length of the CD. Click OK when the extraction is complete, then click OK again to close the status report. Now that you know how to copy your library of CDs to your computer, you can look forward to having all of your music at your fingertips. I hope you found this video useful in helping you learn how to use the exact audio copy software to rip accurate copies of your audio CDs. Thanks for watching.